I rescued three that I'm raising, and I have one I got from somewhere else. So I have four animals that I'm taking amazing care of, I think and giving homes to, I mean, besides giving money and things to animals uh, and, you know, doing things like that, that's what I feel like I'm doing for animals. Same thing. My pets, my pets have all been rescues, of, of some from the pound, some rescued from the street. So um, I think once you do something like that, you are addicted. You become addicted. Yeah, and you can, and then the, then when you see any kind of thing, that's why you can't watch those Sarah McLaughlin commercials. Because yeah. anytime you see anything where someone's being mean to animals, it's you just, just like shut yeah. down. You, you do. It's right? very upsetting. You do. It's yeah. very upsetting. I mean, there are a lot of upsetting things in the world, yeah. and that's just one of them. Yeah, and I write to the Congress women. Um, about like circuses and you know things like that so I mean I think that's I don't know what else I could do in my life right now I think that's enough yeah so what I really do if people just did one kind thing right, to an animal right I think that that's almost enough well I think it's like if you decide to adopt one yes you are taking on a huge responsibility a huge expense and you're committing to this little creature for you know it's life it, for his whole life and that's huge right I mean like my dog I got him from a shelter and the you know I paid the shelter fee I got him home five days later he was in the emergency vet because he was throwing up and it was two thousand dollars you just never just like that two thousand dollars and then he's had teeth things but I mean I'm committed I'm like you're just committed it's so. not it's not something you can do because someone's told you to you have to have it in your heart to do it yeah and you go there and your family financially yeah right yeah you do you do but even I think people that even don't have money they have they find there's they there's find ways to make there's it ways there's um you know veterinarians that do like Look, days where Georgia they get, walk right behind Georgia. she's yeah. not going anywhere Georgia. See? <laughs> the three of us Come the on, three of us us. Here. 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 no no this is good now okay. we've got okay. <laughs> 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 Cutting in line on camera. Right? Yes, yeah. what we do for animals. animals. Totally busted. This is what we do for animals. This is what we do for animals. We honor Georgia Fox. Oh. <laughs> so I want to congratulate you, Emery Johnson, who just, we live in the same neighborhood in yes, Silver Lake, California. Do. Just got reelected to, to the council, uh, council seat. last couple of days. Oh, One of our main keys, we're going to have a uh, dogs and cats for a Barack Obama event. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, my, oh, my dogs are ready. <laughs> my dogs oh, got a bandana on today. So do we just bring our dog down? Yes, and you get Barack oh, Obama I, collars and oh, leashes. And, I <laughs> love that so much. Yeah. Thank goodness. Thank goodness you're an elected official. Well, yeah, I, yeah I'm totally excited do. about it. Yeah. I'm very excited about it. Is that on the SAG website when that's going to happen? No, this is, this is Silver, Silver Lake, Lake, our community oh, where Silver we live. Lake. Yeah, oh, not Obama, SAG. But speaking Obama. of that, you know, Silver Lake <laughs> is a community that has a lot of wildlife. We yes. have a lot of wild places. Yes. And so it is really important and amazing to have people on the team, especially with so much building and so many new people that have come into the neighborhood that have been there for a long time. Long time. That recognize those wild animals animals that have been there and how to live with them and coexist well, with them. And we're fortunate, really, I don't know if you've ever been to Silver Lake, but we have a reservoir and it's yeah, an actual no, reservoir no, and no. we have a meadow area surrounding the reservoir with coyote and, and yeah. maybe one of the largest wild packs coyote. It's in the amazing. Oh. And heron yeah, and geese. Do people take and, care of them? We yeah. do a pretty good job. Yeah, really try. Good. <laughs> they don't go away. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. So um, it's trying to find the common balance between people's cats and dogs right. and yeah. the coyotes. Mm -hmm. That's really so hard. we take it seriously. The coyote wants to eat them. Yes, and yeah. they have. And they have. They I have. have. I have coyotes around my house too, but we don't have any kind of special. It's up, uh, uh, you know, near Mulholland. Sure. And there's no special organization trying to help them, and it, mm -hmm. it really bothers me because you see them and they get really starving. Yeah. Well, so we've invaded yeah, their ours, space. Ours are pretty well fed. Yeah. Ours yeah. are so <laughs> well fed. Maybe ours are too well fed. Maybe Maybe we're going to have that, that, that Barack Obama <laughs> in the afternoon. Not in the evening. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> but we're happy to be here and we're happy to honor Georgia and oh, Bob and yeah, this is are. very exciting. So happy. She's even getting teary eyed while you're talking. I am. Like, no, I'm thrilled that you're here. Yeah. Well, Someone's a hero of mine and this is a good it's thing. It's great to have you. We have to do a lot of these events, yeah. but this is a good one. Yeah. So I'm just thank here you very to have a good much. Thank you. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Thank you. Nice meeting you.